perhaps the single most dreaded word in the life of a playwright is blocked. But never fear, today we have five techniques to help combat writer's block, and we're jumping into them right now. Welcome to Derek Wright's Plays, the channel for theater kids of all ages and the people who tolerate them. I am the titular Derek, and hopefully this video opens up the floodgates of you clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Every writer, regardless of medium, runs into the writer's block now and again, and the good news is that this is not in itself a negative. Struggling through the writer's block means that you are thinking critically about your work and putting care into the finished product. And it also means that something in your work is dramatically compelling. If you didn't struggle, then your characters aren't struggling, and then the audience won't struggle, and that means it's gonna pass right by them without making an impact. So we do not fear the block, but we also do not want to live inside the block. So here are five techniques to help restart your creative process. First, try placing yourself in the character's position. Remember that every character has an objective, a point A they started at, and a point B that they're leading towards. Everything that happens in your story is an impediment to them reaching their point B. So when you are stuck, examine what your character is trying to reach, what they need, uh, what is in their way, and what is the most logical step for them to take next to get around that obstacle and continue on their path to that destination. If you know what your character wants and you put yourself into their shoes, you should be able to see what they need to do next. Remember that your obstacle right now is the same as the character's obstacle and you have to solve the problem together. The second technique, if that's not working, is to uh, try free writing or ranting it out. Grab a blank sheet of paper or a blank Word document and just start writing. Even if you're not focused on the problem at hand uh, or the story as it is, just write down anything that comes to mind. Just get the words flowing again, uh, get just anything you can out onto the page. Set a timer for five minutes and just, just write straight through uh, and don't stop until the timer goes off. Free associate, follow strange ideas, just type random words and and nonsense sentences, just anything you can to get yourself back in the mindset of putting words on paper. Or get some dictation software or, or just uh, speech to text on your phone and just start spitballing ideas verbally as if you were working out the idea uh, with the character or with a creative partner. Uh, just talk through every, every idea you have, every nuance of the scene. Uh, just rant about about what's going on here in the in the problem so don't worry about the words uh, that you're using as you say them go back and look at them later and see if anything in that document now uh, sparks an idea for what to do moving forward the third technique i like to call the squirrel attack uh, and this comes from the idea that if you were telling somebody a story uh, of, of you going to the park if you were just telling them about your afternoon uh, having a picnic with your your family at the park and you start to see their eyes kind of glaze over and they're, they're sort of losing interest you then insert the phrase and then the squirrels attacked and now you have their attention again <laughs> so the idea here is is if you're at a spot where you don't know what to do next think about what's the biggest swing you can take right now, right? Who, who can charge in through the door? Who can call on the phone? What can come across the television? Uh, what can fall from the ceiling? What's the biggest thing that can happen right now that completely changes the trajectory of the play and just follow that new idea? If your plot outline was a roadmap from that point A to point B we discussed earlier, and you have it all mapped out, what happens if along the route you encounter a car crash and have to detour around it? Put a sudden obstacle in the way of your character and see what happens. Maybe you want to start this on a, a separate sheet of paper or or a new document, save, uh, save where you're at and then take this into a, a new document and, and see what happens in case you want to go back and erase it all later if it doesn't work. But but just take a big swing. Go all out. What's the, what's the craziest thing that can happen right now on this stage to get some new narrative motion uh, into your piece? The next tip for combating writer's block might seem a little counterintuitive, but, but it's having a second thing to write on. Uh, so if you are just, nothing's coming on this first piece, you're working on script A, nothing's coming, take a break, have an old script pulled up, and start doing some rewrites, do some edits. Uh, go back and work on that when nothing's happening on script A. Or, or start a blog, or, or have, a, have a book, or, or, or some other sort of creative project that you are writing that is not 
related to uh, this current project. Maybe in your workflow, you make sure that you always have one play currently in production and one play that is always in pre-production, right? So you are always writing on one and then working the other one, doing uh, research and notes and, and outlines. Uh, and so there's always something you can come back to when you need to, to get a win, right? So that's, that's the thing is that our brain needs to get a win to, to get ourselves back into motion, right? So writer's block makes it hard for us to get that win for the day. Go back into a different project, get some rewards down, write something, and then that kicks back in your creative juices, go back into script A, see what happens next. And the final tip, if just nothing else is working, if, if, if you've tried everything else and there's still just no words are coming on this project, uh, upset the routine, right? If you always work in your office, take your laptop, take a, a notepad, and go to a coffee shop. Uh, go write in a garden, go sit underneath a tree and just, just write down some words. Uh, if you always listen to a certain type of music, change the soundtrack. Go to Spotify and pull up a whole new playlist. Sit in a different chair, uh, rearrange your desk. Do something that interrupts your usual writing ritual. In marketing, we call this a pattern interrupt, when you have something that really breaks up uh, the monotony of, of, of repetition, right? So a video in the middle of a news feed is a pattern interrupt. It breaks up the monotony of post, post, post video. Uh, so the same sort of thing with your writing. Sometimes you need to interrupt the white noise of doing something the same way every day, uh, get your brain kind of jumbled up. Then you can go back into your usual routine uh, tomorrow, but, but for just one day, see what happens if you do something different with your writing style. So those were five techniques to help combat writer's block. And hopefully they are helpful to you, whether you're writing a, a book, a movie, or a play. And if you know someone who's struggling right now with their writing productivity, go ahead and share this video. Let them know you got their back. And as always, thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments uh, what some of your tricks are for getting those creative juices flowing again. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and share this video. Until next time, peace and all good.